Hi, my name's Sophie and I'm fat. Content warning. This video includes discussions of fat, fat phobia and includes some scenes of implied nudity. I have been fat for as long as I can remember. I know there was a time when I wasn't fat, there are photos of it, but I don't remember that and I think even the bits that I'm not sure whether they're memories or not, I was definitely fatter than other kids and I treated myself that way and so did other people. So I don't really know what it's like to not be fat. For a long time, I thought that because I was fat, I was a terrible person. I hated myself and I hated my body and I believed that everyone around me also hated me. Not just hated how I looked or hated that I was fat, but actually genuinely hated me. And maybe not consciously, but that deep down they did. This is not an uncommon feeling for people who are fat. And it's mostly because the world is really, really fat phobic. And if you are told something over and over and over again, like being fat is bad, you start to believe it. And if you're told it so often and so relentlessly and you're never told anything else, then you believe it to be true, you think it's fact, and you never consider that there are any other options. This is not something I believe anymore. In fact, I know it to be complete bullshit. Being fat is not a bad thing. It's a description, like tall or has brown hair. These are things that are just true about me. Over the past couple of years, I have been trying actively to unlearn a whole bunch of stuff that I was taught as a child. Following people online who look like me has massively helped my ability to think about being fat as a normal thing. To think about the way in which I carry myself not being entirely dependent on hiding every single bit of my body and trying to take up as little space as possible. Hence, the smiley face. This is a thing that I have seen on comedian Sophie Hagen's Instagram quite a few times where they draw a smiley face on their tummy. Cause, cause how can you hate something that, that has a smiley face? It's so cute. I've also purposefully for this video decided to wear as little clothing as is possible but still comfortable. I've done this to actively try not to hide any bits of my fat. This isn't to say that I am totally happy all the time and I never have days where I feel uncomfortable about my body. It's a process, it's an ongoing process and it will probably be ongoing for my entire life. There are bits of footage that I recorded for this video that I chose not to put in because I felt too self-conscious. Partly that's about this being on the internet and the internet being forever, but partly it's about that there are still bits of me that I don't like and there are still things that I am trying to unlearn because when you spend two decades having the world tell you that you are bad that takes a long time to unlearn. Fat is often used as an insult but it's just a statement, it's just a fact and there's nothing wrong with that. So I'm Sophie I'm 22. I am a musician. My favourite colour is purple. I'm six feet tall and I'm fat. Today is International Women's Day and on the 8th of March every year I like to try and think about ways that women have succeeded, the successes that feminism has had, but also think about the ways that we can improve and the things that still need to get better. One of those is the intersectionality of feminism and one of the ways it could do that is by addressing fat phobia. In the comments I'm going to start a thread of people that I think everyone should look into for International Women's Day and I would love it if you would add to that. Oh god this is so complicated and so much stuff in one video.